Hi guys, welcome back to Alon and Law. Today I'm going to talk about uh, a pharmacological topic uh, important for uh, USML step 1 and even it's important for uh, medical students. Guys, uh, before starting a discussion on uh, a topic that's a beta receptors okay the beta adrenergic receptors okay so this is a really very important topic for uh, those who are appearing for USML step one and um, very important topic for a medical students and even for a physician so let me start a discussion briefly. I will discuss about this. So there are three beta receptors, beta adrenergic receptors, the beta 1, the beta 2 and the beta 3. So the important, what do you call the important uh, receptors for our examination and even for a clinical is uh, beta 1 and beta 2. Regarding the beta-3, it's present in the adipose tissue. So it has been tried for weight loss, okay? So to burn the fat, it causes, it enhances lipolysis. So it has a limited use and the drugs which acts through the beta-3 receptors, um, they are limited and they are not used um, in the market because of the side effects of the tremors. So we'll not be going in detail regarding the beta 3 receptors just you can res uh, remember beta 3 receptors they are located in adipose tissue okay guys adipose tissue and enhances you can remember as a lipolysis okay guys so let's move on to the most important receptors that's beta 1 receptor beta 1 adrenergic receptor so regarding this beta-1 adrenergic receptor, the main location of this, where the location, location is really very important because if you know the location, definitely you will remember the function of it. What happens if the beta-1 receptors are activated? What happens if the beta-1 adrenergic receptors are blocked? Okay guys, so the main location is heart. Okay guys, so this is so the medical heart is like this right so the main location is beta uh, there's a heart okay so it's located on the heart this is really very important the other organs also the major role is in the heart but the other what you call locations where the beta 1 receptor is located is uh, juxta glomerular cells of kidney juxta glomerular glomerular cells of kidney okay guys so so this is a two locations uh, one is a major is a uh, heart and uh, the remaining uh, they are located in the juxtaglomerular cells of the kidney and it's also located you can say it's not a location you can say increase the ghrelin secretion from the stomach so you can remember the stomach okay so it helps in the secretion of a ghrelin ghrelin from stomach okay guys so remember the beta 1 receptor is located in the heart and the major role is in the heart and the remaining is a juxtaglomerular cells and stomach okay so let's move on what happens if beta 1 receptor in the heart is activated so when it's activated in the heart okay what happens it increases the cardiac output by increasing the heart rate so it increases the cardiac output how it increases the cardiac output in it increases the heart rate so it's going to increase the heart rate so it's called the positive chronotropic effect okay positive chronotropic effect okay guys it's a pro positive chronotropic effect the conduction velocity also increases and that's known as a positive dromotrophic effect. It also increases 
then it causes a conduction velocity that's positive dromotrophic effect okay guys so these are really very important and it also increases what you call um, stroke volume stroke volume so it also increases stroke volume by enhancing the contractility of the heart so it enhances the contractility that is known as a positive inotropic effect so just look at the function of the beta 1 receptor in the heart it increases the cardiac output it increases the heart rate it increases the what you call as a um, stroke volume so these are the functions these are really very important functions of a beta 1 receptors uh, on the heart okay so these are really very important functions you should know okay uh, just if you remember how it acts I don't want to go in the detail the mechanism how the beta 1 receptors acts is a GS that is adenylate cyclase activated cyclic AMP okay so cyclic AMP goes up and it acts through the GS adenylate cyclase so just for uh, this is uh, not important for what you call uh, for pharmacology or for USMLE step one okay guys so just remember the function of this these are really very important and let me tell you about the drugs which acts through this before that I would like to tell you the function what happens if the beta 1 receptors are activated in the kidney the juxtaglomerular cells so guys you are right in the kidney it increases what you call renin okay it increases the renin levels it increases the le renin levels from juxtaglomerular cells of the kidney okay and the third one is from a stomach it increases the ghrelin okay the ghrelin ghrelin hormone okay so these are the important what you call functions of beta 1 receptors the major role is being on heart and the kidney and the stomach you can remember okay so let's move on to